Now to Stockton, where a chase ends in a deadly crash. New video shows the aftermath here. Deputies surrounding the suspect's car after he slammed into a tree. Let's get to CBS 13's Marley Ginter in Stockton tonight, where neighbors are still shaking up. Marley. <laughs> A car slammed into a tree. The driver knocked out. Hey, Video of the aftermath shows police smashing the window to get the driver out. I seen someone on the floor and them doing CPR. And I just came here trying to get in my driveway. And it's been like this all afternoon. Alicia Butler still stunned by what she witnessed Wednesday afternoon, an unbelievable scene less than a block from her front door. Investigators say San Joaquin County Sheriff's deputies tried to pull the driver over, but he took off, crashed, and later died at the hospital. There's a school right down the street, so it's always like kids or, you know, families, dogs, never this. It's scary. Um, I mean, I've got one aunt and uncle right here, another one right here across the street, and then we've got our two kids. You know, they're out here when we can be in the yard. So. Camille Trawick and her family had a tough time just getting home. Police blocked off several roads for hours. Pershing Avenue, a busy road that runs right through neighborhoods. I'm just glad I was on the way home with the girls. That's all, because we, we come back this way every day around the same time, and I'm just glad we decided to do something different today. It was just like, do I even go home, or do I just... Stay away. As police meticulously map out the scene, a neighborhood shocked and even mourning someone they never knew. I, I've felt shaky all day, and then knowing that he lost his life, it's just, it's a lot. Whatever they have done, I don't know what they have done, but they have family, they have people that care for them. We asked the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office why they tried to pull over the suspect in the first place. We're still working to get that answer.